All right, third grade is your paragraphs are ready, your pictures are ready, your next step is your timeline. So here we are in our Google Doc, we have our dates up here. You need to remember, you're thinking about how you want your timeline to look. Your timeline is not going to always have these long lines to it. And remember with these, you can go up to size, let's see, 14. Okay. Um, and looking at an example poster, notice here, we have the lines stacked on top of each other because they want it to be shorter so that it can fit more in this narrow picture. So depending on how you want your timeline, prepare your text. Okay, So here I've got Annie Oakley's born. If I wanted to make this thinner, maybe I'm going to make it like this, where I just kind of put my cursor where I want it and I hit enter. And if I wanted to center the text, I could highlight like this and then I click center. That's one example of, of doing it. If I didn't want it so thin, Remember, I'm going to make them the size 14. Okay. If, I would, if this is what I'm happy with, this double stack, maybe I leave it like that. Um, if I wanted a medium version, maybe I make it just a little bit wider. And um, I don't want it centered. I can leave it like this. So remember, your one page here is the size of a sheet. You're going to cut this sheet up for your timeline, but you need to make the text how you envision it on your poster. Okay? So after today, you should have your paragraphs ready, all filled up to one page. You should have your photos ready if you haven't already printed them out at home. And you should have your timeline text ready to go because come Monday, we're printing those things out to add to our poster. Good luck.